So why is the Bible important? Well, it reveals to us who God is. Jesus is the Word. The uh, book of John says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So God and his Word, you can't separate. So if you want to know who God is, if you want to know who Jesus is, you need the Word of God, which is that which reveals the character and the nature and the love of God, his plan for mankind, his plan from before the foundation of the earth, the good news of salvation, the warning of what sin does to us, why it triples us, and how it destroys us, the wages of sin is death. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. It gives us a protection. It's the sword of the spirit. It's what cuts through the enemy's lies as a powerful defense. So when we look at the word of God, we get to understand the history of creation. We get to understand the enemy that's at war with God and mankind. We get to understand how the nation Israel was formed and why God was going to bring the Messiah, the deliverer through Israel. It gives us information and understanding about the early church. It gives us doctrines that we can live by that help us to relate well with spouse and, and parents and children and others and even our enemies. It's also a word that gives us prophetic warning and, and proof that what's going to happen and gives us awareness of uh, the wiles of the enemy so we're not deceived. The Bible is very, very important to a believer. It's so important that God has put his fill upon it, his approval to make sure it doesn't return to him void or empty. But it will go forth and it will accomplish the purpose that he intended. He doesn't want us without uh, an understanding of who he is. See, God is a God of love, but he's also a holy God. And holiness is something that we, when we sin, we can't endure it. Sin can't stand in his presence. Adam and Eve sinned, and they hit themselves and tried to cover up the best they could, but it caused them to have a division in their relationship with God. That's what sin does. And so God brings us the understanding of the word, which cleanses us also. Jesus said, the words that I spoke, to you have cleansed you it's got cleansing power it can set us free from the the sin by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony that it lines up with god's word and that we live not our own life to the end the bible gives us courage it gives us a strength that you cannot find in any other book there's no other inspiration as powerful as god's word it also should give us a holy respect and fear of God that we cannot turn against him and sin against him and others without there being a consequence for our actions. It's there so we kind of have that awareness that aligns with our conscience and we go, oh, but yeah, that's right. That's, that's a no-no. Those commandments are life. They give us life and they give us balance. So the word of God gives us instruction, gives us understanding and wisdom. It helps us look at the events of life and how to handle them, what to take out of, uh, of an argument where we can bring peace where there wouldn't be peace otherwise. The scripture teaches us how to respond in so many of our situations of life if we would just obey it. You know, there's a time and a season for everything the Bible says. And the Bible has answers for every time and season, every situation of life, of relationship, of tragedy and sorrow and grief and joy and hope and how to make a better life. We can't just be people who know about the book. We can't just know about the Ten Commandments. We can't just be able to quote John 3.16, which is an important verse from the scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in Jesus should not perish, but have everlasting life. But we're also to be doers of the word, 
not just hearers, not just observers, but actually applying it to our life. And when we apply it, there's a powerful dynamic that sets us free from deception, causes us to have boldness. The Word of God gives us a righteousness that we can't do in our own strength, but it infuses in our spirit. And we become one with God's Word and unity with His Word. We don't have to fear the enemy. We have peace with God because the Word of God teaches us who He is as a Father that loves His children, who will correct us, who will give us the discipline that's necessary. And you know, as a kid, none of us really liked discipline. And as a parent, I didn't enjoy giving discipline. But it's also that which straightened out situations and protected children. God's word is set there to protect us. It's set there to give us the blessings. It's to keep us from the curses that come from violating life. Those Ten Commandments is how life works. And it's broken down by Jesus to say to love God with all of your being, with every thought and all your heart, and to love others as you want to be loved. On those two principles, there's fulfillment of life. We fulfill the commandments that God requires of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. So without the Word of God, we would have no beginning. We wouldn't have how to get through the journey. We wouldn't even know where the end would be. We wouldn't have a hope. We just go aimlessly through this life, trying to get as many of the toys that we would like, as many of the good things, and probably be very discouraged for not getting what we want, and very despondent and, and brokenhearted with no hope. Oh, yes, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. That's it. Our loved ones perish, they die, and we're never going to get to see them again. If they're a believer, if they're in Christ Jesus, and we too are in Christ Jesus, we have all eternity together, and the scripture teaches us that. How to have peace with man, how to have peace with God. How to cause the devil to flee from you and give you protection and give you joy and give you peace, give you the understanding that you need to go through troubling times, how to overcome the confusion. Are you beginning to get the understanding that the reason the Bible is important to us is it's God, his very word. It becomes flesh. It becomes real, becomes powerful when it's in given into our heart and it, it abides in us and we abide in the word so this is why the bible is so important and this is why the devil would want to discourage you from reading it he'd like to have you sidetracked watch more tv more movies go to more sports go do anything but don't read the bible because it's the power of food in our inner man man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth God. This is what Jesus said. That's our spiritual nourishment. And as our spirit is made right, our soul is satisfied, our mind finds stability, our emotions are now blessed instead of curses, and it gives us even physical health. So it's from the spirit, and the spirit of man combines with the spirit of God, and the spirit and the word, they don't contradict, they're one. So we know whether this is of God or it's not because we know what the Word of God says. We need to rightly divide it. We need to take and look at the whole counsel of God, not just some cherry-picked scriptures and building our theology off of one scripture. No, theology is understanding about God. But often man is kind of confused, we try to make God fit into our little box. And God says, here's the box that I've given you for you, the Bible. And in it, you can find me and understand me. 
Yes, we might not understand everything there is to know about the universe and everything out there, but what is important for our lives, God has put in the written word for our lives to make us better people, to help us raise our children safely and give them good manners, that they're a blessing and not a curse, not worrisome and a burden. That's if we're going to instruct our children in the word. If we don't instruct them with the word of God, then they're going to go off in their own craziness because mischief is bound up in our hearts as children and the word corrects us. And when we have discipline that is healthy and safe, it drives out that mischiefness and gives us a balance. Raise up a child in the way they should go and in the end they won't depart. We've lost too many of our children because they don't have the word of God as the foundation for their life. There's no boundaries, and without boundaries, well, we don't know if we're safe or not. It's like getting on a, a freeway, heading in the wrong direction, not knowing which way to drive, or even how to drive, and there's cars coming at you. We're lost, we're confused, we're a danger to others, we're a danger to ourselves. But when we get the manual on how to navigate this life, and what the boundaries are, what the rules are that keep us safe and keep others safe. See, if there's a standard for everybody, then we all can get along better and we have a greater, happy, blessed life as we make the Word of God applicable to how we live. So, why do we need the Bible? <laughs> I know I went to an awful lot real quick, but I encourage you to take it after. Go back to this and slow it down and pause it and write down some thoughts. It's important to get this. It's how we get to know God, how we get to know how he wants to relate with us, how we're to relate with others, how to have the best in this life, and how to have the best life in the future and not end up in damnation because we chose to go in our own way, which seems right. Scripture says there's a way that seems right to man, but the end is destruction. Bible says, commit your ways unto God, and he will give you success. The Bible says, if you study the word of God and meditate in it day and night and not depart from it, then you will have success. Then you'll have the true prosperity. Huh, what does a prophet of man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Not much profit there is a temporary. But the word of God is everlasting. It shall never perish. But will go forth from the beginning to all eternity. It can't be conquered. The word of God is your only safety. Your only sure foundation. So yes, the Bible is very important. I pray you take it seriously. Study it, pray over it, meditate on it, and do it. Be a doer of the word so that you're a wise man. Foolish men hear the word. They don't do it. Their lives will become a shambles when there's crisis in life. But the wise, they do what the word says, and that gives them a strong foundation for the storms that come into everybody's life. And we will prevail because the word of God is our rock and our sure foundation.